Hey guys, this is Tony. So in this video, we are going to talk about uh, how to effectively collect uh, website links for bus stream so that we can start outreach. And obviously, Google is one of the tools we're going to use. Now, the default Google uh, setting is only 10 results per page. So what you want to do is you want to uh, set it up to 100. And let me actually show you quickly how to get there. So when you get to Google, uh, there's the settings button click on search settings and this is how you get to this page so you know drag it all the way down to 100 and save it and what happens is that once you do that you will show you 100 results per page so here's what it looks like you can see everything you know 100 results on first page and we are going to use this tool called link, link clamp uh, that is a browser add-on. There's a Chrome version and I think there's also a Firefox version in, ca in case you're a Firefox person. And what you want to do is you want to come here and edit the setting the way you would like it. Um, you know, in, in case you want to use different combination of mouse with the keyboard. Um, I like to just set it to just right click and set this action to copy the clipboard and then just collect the URLs only um and that's it so once you set this up what will happen is as you can see i can actually get a lot of links in one go and essentially this is similar to you know some of the tools out there like uh out there like uh scrape box you know it does essentially the same thing um it obviously it does more effectively but now because google is getting so clever that it's it gets very expensive to use that tool because you need to get um you know different ip addresses uh to send the crawler for different ips and then there's the uh, captcha that you, you know you, you need to use uh, yet another tool to get around um, those kind of protection that google is implementing but in any case you know this is an easier way uh, also free way to easily get a lot of links in one go okay so once you have that, uh, let's go over to Bass Stream. And what you want to do is go to Add Websites uh, from list of URLs and make sure you click Websites and Links. So by having that option on, when you copy and paste it, what will happen is that, and let me show you one of these guys here. So, oh, hold on, mm, let's go here. Not too, oh, because the filter. Okay, so, you know, you can see in this here, it basically adds the links automatically. You, you just have to go to configure your column to actually see that. And we will get to why I have my uh, columns layout like this in a minute, but just want to show you, um, you know, collect the links and then go to that website and then add it with the option websites and links. So that you don't have to create another field um, to, you know, uh, input those links. And because I, I know some people talk about um, creating, you know, custom fields. And actually, I have that one here: resource links. Um, you know, manually input the links here, and then this and that. But I, I, I don't do that. I, I try to make it more effectively, more efficient. So that's what I do. Uh, so after it's in there, let's come back here and talk about this very quickly. Actually, so. Obviously, you want to go through the screening process and you need to establish that with, with your team members so that everybody knows, you know, how to effectively uh, screen all, all, all this, a lot of, not large number of prospects. And this is one of the ways that I do. It's not a fixed way, obviously. Um, you, you can modify, change it accordingly. Uh, so, you know, what I do is domain authority less than 10. Uh, if you use a different, you know, backlink checker, you can also do that. Um, Bastream does have its built-in domain authority checker. So you can filter it out, like you upload the whole thing and then screen it and, and anything that's less than 10, just get rid of it. You know, that's one way to do it. Or if you say use Majestic, which I, I do use Majestic as well, uh, you can say, okay, trust flow less than, I don't know, 20 or 30, just get rid of them before even uploading it to bus stream so that you know that that's one of the criteria you can use now after you upload it to bus stream uh bus stream will go out there and grab the email address 
and obviously you can also use contact form for websites that don't have email um, that might you know it works for some people it doesn't work for others I, I don't know your preference but I personally don't do that because it takes additional time so anything that doesn't have email address I just get rid of them so that's another filtering system there uh, as you can see you know this is basically funnel um, so I'm, I'm basically getting rid of the ones that are not relevant you know and, and very quickly you can see I can just get rid of everything that's less than 10 domain authority everything that doesn't have any email address and then relevancy so this is where it takes a little bit of time and this is where we're going to go back and talk about why I set up the column the way I do uh, because I need to check the relevancy of each link that I collected and so uh, basically you know we just go back here um, that's why I have these links set up here so I can just click on it okay and it will just open another window let me quickly easily just take a look at what's going on there I know Bathstream has a built-in um, browser you know Bazbar I think that's so you can actually do the same there select websites and you will be able to actually see each one of them um, oh yeah if in, my browser is not configured to allow bus bus so I have to change that but once you set that up uh, you will be able to you know basically check in this browser here and then if you need to add something quickly you can do that as well so that's another way to go around uh, to do it but I personally like to have the links here so I can click 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 and then things that are not relevant really just get rid of it um, it, it's really personal preference at that point and then uh, once you know we, we get the relevancy part done um, again very quickly hopefully less than 30 seconds maybe to a minute uh, for each web web address then we start collecting you know uh, first name so obviously you want to personalize the email template and so you need ideally you should have first name from each website owner or, or the person who wrote the article whatever you are, you are targeting and you know at this point we already filter you know quite a bit and and so uh, maybe we can do another filtering here actually we can do okay a domain authority uh, more than 70 that's the ones that we're going to collect first name otherwise we're just gonna send out without first name even and it, it's really you know how efficiently you want to send a lot of them um, that, that's what we're trying to achieve here and so by having this system in place to communicate with your team member they know exactly what you want how you want them to screen and so on um, so I mean that, that's just a template there if you like like it you know please feel free to use it uh, and and so let's come back here and talk about the column so earlier I said you know I, I organize the column in, in certain ways so that I can easily monitor uh, what's what so like I said, Domain Authority Bus Stream has that in there. So I can easily filter them out. You know, anything that's less than 10, I can just, you know, click, 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 and then go to edit and just delete it. So that they are gone. I don't have to worry about them anymore. And then here's the discover contact info. Um, so here it will show you icons of, you know, if the ones that has email, Obviously, you know that that's something that you wanna um, keep, and also some of them has Facebook, you know, whatnot. So you you can easily see uh, which one you should keep. But uh, interesting enough, some of them actually don't come with the icon, and yet when you have this email field, it shows you uh, which one has email. So you know, by by having these two columns here, I can easily see okay, what's going on, which one I should keep. And obviously some of them don't have any emails I should get rid of them and then I have this sequence here which is one of the new features that bus stream has um, I can send out emails sequentially without actually manually set it up every time I just set it up once it will just send out sequence one sequence two and then I have tags here you know when was last communication and things like that so I try to keep it clean um, but you know at the same time it's it's sort of allow me to effectively send out a lot of emails and also I, I communicate with my team members so that they know um, that this this kind of system 
um, that that I do if they if they think it's useful. Um, in most cases, um, I, I hope they do, and and so that they, they will just use it and then they can modify it to the way that they think it's more efficient. Um, you know, in a way that will allow them to be more efficient uh, to collect prospects and send out emails. So I give them the freedom to actually modify it, but I just kind of give them a template to show them, you know, here's how I think, here's what I do. And I think it's pretty good, but if you want to modify it, please feel free to do it. Feel, feel free to do it. So that's pretty much it. I mean, that, that's sort of the outline um, of, you know, how, how efficiently that we can send out, uh, collect the prospects and send out emails. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.